just by looking at the terrain here you can see a lot of dugouts flat area there going into something on the ground you can see a lot of trenches and on the top we have perfect view over this area here they really did know how to make a fortified positions the Germans so me and my daughter is going into the flag bunker here ventilation shaft there CF maybe it's a regional marking I don't know um, let's have a look it's a big spider web there so don't get that in your head there's the hole this has been filled by a lot of sand because see the level is too high there's the door hinges which way do you want to go in here okay let's have a look just some big rooms here we are, rusted, there's a hole there actually, blown apart a hole. Oh, so what they did, this is where the emergency exit is. Oh no, that's, wow, why is, has that been blasted or? Looks like it's a blasted hole in the wall there. Hmm. My daughter just found a new friend. Can you see it? There's a frog in there. Looks a little bit bewildered, but uh, you want to take it outside? Yeah. It's more moist there. Maybe it will have a better chance to live up there. Yeah. Same thing. Looks like somebody made a lot of work going through that wall. What happened here? Someone tried to get from this side to the other side, but it's just going around in the door and you in the other room. Oh, it's strange. There's the um, emergency exit. As you can see, you had to crawl out the door. And uh, when you crawl out that door, you had to crawl out that ladder that I showed you from the outside. Ah, hmm. Interesting. Not a shutter. You can see how it worked. Let's see if I can show you. Um, let me see, like that. You go. Got this thing here. You can open and shut that. Slide that. Lock it with this. And it will actually be airtight as well. And uh, if you want to check who was out, you open this. Just slide a little bit. Check outside. It's a friend. Let him in. If enemy, shoot him. So we're walking on some of the paths that the Germans did. And you can see down here, this is a very typical German feature, the uh, Betonstrasse, Betonplattenweg. They always did that because they did use concrete to build the bunkers, but they needed to have a very stable road to transport munition and things like that back and forth. So this is definitely from that time frame and uh, they have walked the same path here that we have done. Here is something interesting. This one looks like it's actually blasted. You can see it actually lifted the whole bunker here. Wow, that's not often to see. Look at that. That is a battle damage. But my guess would be that the Allied tried to destroy it. And you can see how much concrete there really is in things like this. Look at that thick roof. That's about 1 meter 60, 80 something. Insane. Look at that. <coughs> Sorry, that's from the inside there. I've never seen a bunker torn up like that. I know they try to do it in a lot of places in the northern part of Norway and also in Germany, but the only thing they managed to do was sort of put a, several tons of TNT inside ignited boom only thing that would happen you blew up the walls the roof lifted about a meter and fell down again and that's probably what happened here that is insane look at all those steel girdles coming up there but all the reinforcement bars thousands of tons made just to make the make the concrete strong and as you can see it was really really strong look at that web there with all that concrete and uh, reinforcement bars look at that looks like a house losing its foundation the sand coming in out of it from underneath but here here's the steps up to the machine gun turret 
we quite easy actually to just climb up there, go into that one, hold on to that bar. So this is probably how it was all the way from the beginning. And there is the fortified hole to shoot out from. Wow. Basically the same. This is where the guard would stand. The ammo slide outs probably. And the uh, big rooms. Big room here. I, can't. I think I can see some riding up there. Up here. Can you see it? There. I actually think that's some original riding. Yeah, on the wall there. Aush, oog, something. That's the original writing. I don't know about the numbers. Some of the bunkers that I've seen have perfect writing inside. You can read text and they make pictures actually also in some of them. So I'm seeing, oh look at that. Yeah, look at that. That is probably. Look at that. I'm not sure whether that is a restored type. Probably is. Wow. Gun foundation. This is the view. Firing orders came. Wham! Out the uh, shell went and maybe they hit an allied boat. Who knows. So now we're heading out to these strange looking square boxes here. Look at that. Actually a bunker down there as well. So what could be down there? These bunkers are called Regelbau. And that's because they're made with a special shape and uh, purpose. And that was the organization Tut. Look at that. There's a lizard. Is it? No, it's a frog. Where is it? Where is it? There is it. There is it. Oh, it's hiding. I don't know. My daughter is into that animal stuff, so I'm not. <laughs> I'm more into the. What is that? That is. Oh, there used to be some sort of equipment here. And you have like one, two, three, four. Yeah, it has to be ammo storages. Probably some ammo storage. Yeah, it was just to put in a lot of ammo for whatever stood here. So this is where they stacked it up. Nothing high tech. Just a concrete thing. And you can unload the ammo out that small piece there. Look at that. Big air valve to shut out. The outside ear, I guess. Electrical cables coming out from the ground. Probably communication. Telephone lines. Electricity for all kinds of equipment inside the bunker. Last one. Fourth. Look at that. Rounded edge. Opening for the gun. Rounded corners. Imagine a lot of soldiers making ready. The alarm, alarm. Maybe they saw something out there in the Black Sea. And they started the process of loading the guns and uh, firing out there.
Wow, wow, wow. Hope you enjoyed this little trip back in time. Me and my daughter surely did. Very interesting to see these structures still standing. And if you ever get to this place, Hans Holm, in the uh, western part of the northern part of uh, Denmark, you have to go and see it. It's unbelievable. So many features, so many bunkers, so many things to study. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like to see any of my other videos, feel free to do that. And uh, definitely I will be back in a new adventure in the near future. So until then, keep watching, keep smiling, and have a nice day.